today we're just going to have a little bit of fun with painting with wine so we're going to start by just taping our piece of paper down to our board because it's going to work kind of like watercolor where as i start to add paint or wine to the page it's going to start to warp my page a little bit so i'm just going to use this sticky tape and a board or you can tape it straight to your table just to stop the page from bending out of shape when we start painting so we want to add tape on all four sides and that way we'll have as little movement in that piece of paper as possible so we're going to be doing a painting of this animal it is i believe it's called a kudu i don't know if i'm saying that right but it is a sort of um a south african i think sort of an antelope type thing um, so we're going to start by transferring the image so i'm just putting some pencil on the back Do it nice and rough it doesn't have to be too neat and we want this picture to be a nice quick fun image we're just using wine so we don't need to you uh, to get all the details when we're doing a transfer we're really just uh, wanting to be able to splash some color on there and just be a little bit creative with it so i'm just using a pen and as i press on top of the image it's going to push the pencil that I've put underneath onto my page so this is a really great method that you can use if um, you don't have a light table or if you don't have time to maybe pre-sketch your image or maybe you're just not confident enough to pre-sketch your image yet it's a great way to play around with different techniques um, before you're ready to just completely work from scratch so I've done these horn sort of shapes up here. I'm just going to go around to the nose. I'm looking at areas of pure white because I'm going to make sure that I leave those areas blank. And when I get to the body away from the face, I'm going to be even more loose. And I'm really just going to think, okay, light spot here, dark spot here. And I'm not going to over define it because I want to be as free, as fun, as loose, as creative as possible. As long as we get that basic shape, hopefully it will turn out looking something like the picture. Okay, let's get started. So I've got my image transferred. And on the side here, I've got my little containers with my wine. And I'm going to start with um, the one of them I've put a bit of water in it, so it's a little bit diluted. This one is straight wine, um, and this one is distilled. So that's where you boil it for a little bit to make it a little bit stronger. So we'll start with the lightest one, and we're just going to start with uh, some of our lighter areas, and we just we can even put um, some paint or wine underneath where the darker areas are as well. The main thing is just that we want to avoid putting anything where we've got a white area. And depending on your wine, you might find it comes out a little bit darker or lighter. In fact, I'm going to jump to the slightly darker one for some of these darker areas, I think. Just being careful to avoid anywhere that is supposed to be left white. And if you do accidentally go into it, you can just grab a little bit of tissue or use some water and just try to lift it off again. So 
I'm just working my way around the face at the moment and then we'll move on to the body. The body will do a little bit more loosely. trying to pick out some of the key features got some lovely white stripes on the back here so I'm not really focusing too much on the exact direction of the fur here. I'm just kind of creating the idea that there is fur by doing some textural marks. And I don't really want to define the base of the animal too much. I want it to kind of be a little bit free. So I might kind of give the impression that there's some legs here, but I'm, I'm gonna let people's imagination kind of do the work there a little bit. So I'll just check, I think we've filled in most of our darker areas, which means we can probably start thinking about adding another layer which means we need to dry this first we're going to use the hair dry for that and then we'll come back and we'll keep working back into it okay so we're going to add another layer to our darker areas being very careful not to go over those white areas using a few marks to kind of create the idea that it's blending without actually blending it by just kind of flicking it a little bit I'm starting to use some of the darker wine, which is a little bit more pink. So we're getting these lovely different tones coming through here. And what we can do with that eye is we can work back in maybe with a gel pen or something later just to define just a little sparkle in the center of the eye there. We don't need to try and keep it as we're painting. We can work that back in later. Picking up the darker areas and then once I've sort of got the main sort of shape that I'm after I can start to have a little bit of fun letting the colors bleed out a little bit more letting the paint control itself rather than trying to control it
think we'll, we'll take a break again. We'll dry it a bit more. And we'll come back and add some more. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of a wash in the background now to kind of just create the impression that there's a little bit of atmosphere. You might even Some strokes to suggest tall grass or something. You can define your image with as many layers as you like. The obviously the more layers you add, the darker it's going to continue to get. So it's really up to you how far you want to take the image. Um, but if you're just playing around and you're just trying to experiment with different media and you're just wanting to have a bit of a play with wine, then you don't need to you don't need to take it too far. Just have a bit of fun, enjoy it, and see where it takes you. Thanks, Shuri, for um coming along as my guest artist and showcasing your wonderful use of red wine. Um, yeah, thanks, Gabby. Um, the wine we've used today is Yellow Tail. Um, it's a big, bold red wine, and it's uh, crafted by the Casella family in Australia.